There's been a lot of controversy lately about Power World being a glorified Pokemon copy game. Well, is it really? In short, the answer is no. But there are many similarities between the games that people have noticed, and those similarities have caused some people to say the game is just a complete copycat of a Pokemon game. What are those reasons? Well, find out in the next few minutes, but first, make sure to hit that like button so I know to keep creating content. Firstly, the game looks like it has reused many character models from the monsters because some of the pals are somewhat or majorly close to resembling multiple Pokemon. Though this is true, and some pals are pretty much just colored changes of certain Pokemon, it isn't the case of every single pal, and honestly, a lot of Pokemon are based on real world creatures like rhinos or otters. Pal world's creatures are almost obviously going to look somewhat like Pokemon just due to the fact that they are taking inspiration from real life animals. And, you know, after so many animals in real life, they're gonna start to look similar. Anyone trying to say that Pal world is a complete carbon copy of a Pokemon game? and they just added in some guns and made it more like Ark, just needs to play the game and see what both sides are like, whether or not they think it's more of a Pokemon type title, or if it's kind of its own thing, which it kind of is, and it's not really just a complete copy of Pokemon. Secondly, there is a possibility that the game used generative AI, and if they were to do it, I'd be pretty disappointed in them. Now, it wouldn't be a surprise to me whatsoever if they had used AI, just because it's starting to be integrated into everyday things, who knows, maybe even cereal will be based on a ChatGPT like Oreos or any other candies have been in the past. Not that ChatGPT is an Oreo. Oh, other than that, sorry, just on a quick tangent here. The best candy type based cereal is Reese's Puffs and will always be. I don't care what people say. Like, no, that's just, it's Reese's Puffs. If AI has been used in this game, there is a high likelihood that that is the reason it looks like Pokemon. Just because AI uses content from what it's seen before to try to innovate and make something new although it doesn't really have the same innovation that humans have in imagination, so it can't really create something it can really make and create its own type of version of. It just has to make copies and slight tweaks to them. Does this mean the AI will never have the imagination of a human? No, because honestly, I didn't think AI would be around for at least another 10 or 20 years, and it's already here, and it's scarily good, and it's only been out for about a year now. So I'm just saying AI is not going away anytime soon. It probably never will after now. There are people that I've seen doing videos about Power World and reviewing it and playing it. And I think the game looks very interesting. There are a few assets that I don't think fit in with each other. Like certain buildings and stuff I don't think fit with the characters and the creatures in the game. Does this mean that like some people claim that the game is just an asset flip? No, the game is not just an asset flip. Like I said, it does look like some pals in Pal World are not fitting with the background, but that's okay, that's just how a game is, that's a style. It's fine to have a style with a game. To me, the game does look like a Pokemon mod for Ark Survival, but it's its own game and I can't complain about that. Like honestly, I understand wanting to be innov innovative and you know, making my own game on something that I wish Pokemon would have ever done. Like, you have to take the initiative since that company is not being creative enough to do whatever they want with it. They've just been copy-pasting their own game and not really changing anything, except for Arceus. I'll be honest, that game was different. I never played it, but I've heard a lot about it, and I I don't know. I, I just probably never will play it, to be honest. Companies have to be willing to innovate to be able to make something that people will stay interested in. People trying to defend Pokemon and, you know, what they've been doing with their games, they need to get over the fact that Pokemon hasn't been innovating anything. It's just been the same game for the most part with a few slight tweaks and a bunch of bugs. Companies need to be effortlessly trying to change things and keep stuff interesting. Like, even if you look on YouTube itself with me, I only have like 86 subs right now. Like, that's nothing, obviously. But I keep trying to grow and I'm tre I keep trying to innovate and change things and make new thumbnails and stuff i don't have a bunch of free time to be spending on youtube which is just my own thing like obviously everyone has their own time to spend on youtube and what they don't have to spend on editing and though myself i do have a bunch of advantages that a bunch of small creators don't have like obviously davinci resolve being free now that's available to everyone i recommend it because it's actually great but i also have the access to photoshop and any other program like that with through adobe because so yeah i have that advantage and i'm learning more and more about photoshop and how to do things and how to make something look better and more attention grabbing if i look back to my old thumbnails like some of my oldest thumbnails versus one of my newest and like just going out today type of thumbnails 
there is a huge change. Now, is there a few thumbnails that I just rush through and try to get done as fast as possible? Yeah, but I, I try to innovate and I try to make it better. All I need to do is keep learning about the YouTube algorithm and keep learning what people want to see. Anyway, Palworld's been doing exceedingly well. Like that developer has gotten very lucky, probably has a lot of money right now because it skyrocketed from being a game that nobody knew about to being the second highest bought and popular game on Steam in like a week. That's insane. Even Lethal Company wasn't able to accomplish that great of a task. And honestly, all Power World has done is show that Pokemon needs to change and it needs to, you know, like I said, innovate and get better and take risks. Because you won't go anywhere unless you take a risk. You have to be willing to not succeed to find a way to succeed. Hours of your life, years of your life, whatever it takes, you need to be willing to do that to succeed. Anyway, if you'd like to hear me talk more about my advantages as a small creator or other advantages that small creators have please watch this video and it will be releasing in a few days probably uh until then i'll see you guys in the next commentary or gaming video have a good one